So everyone, just coming on with a video, making a video for the Feast of Trumpets. And first I'll just cover us with a prayer of protection. With the key of David, I place a fiery cloak and visibility over, and I plead the blood of Yeshai HaMashiach over our mind, bodies, hearts, and spirits. And we just render the enemy blind, deaf, dumb, and dull to anything we say or do. We cannot interfere in any way, and we just seal everything shut with the blood of the Lamb. I'm on. Excuse me. Today is um, September 26th, and at sunset begins the Feast of Trumpets, because we know um, Scripture tells us that, that a day is from evening. Evening starts at evening to evening the next day. So today is September 22nd, 26th, sorry, 2022, and it's the first of Tishri. And we also know that by the new moon, when the new moon is first seen, the sliver is seen, that begins the month, and it's also called Rosh Kadesh in um, Hebrew. So, it's also, it's also the Feast of Trumpets is also called Yom Teror, and that means the day of shouting or blasting, the shofar or the trumpet. And it's also Rosh Hashanah, which means the head of the year. And the rabbis teach that it was the creation of the world at, at this time. So it's Rosh Hashanah also remembers that. But it's also, very importantly, it's also the start of the 10 days of all. Today is the first day of, of the 10 days of all. And that's 10 days before the Day of Atonement, which is the holiest day of the year. And that's where the high priest would bring in the blood of a bull and a goat into the Holy of Holies and pour the blood on the mercy seat to make atonement for all the sins of all, all the people of Israel. They, they would pour on top of the Ark of the Covenant and on the mercy seat specifically. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at what Father Ahia tells us, what commands us for the Feast of Trumpets. And we see that in Leviticus chapter 23, verses 23 to 25. And the Lord, Father Ahai, spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, and holy convocation. You shall do no servile work therein, but you shall off, offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, Father Ahai. Okay, so we see that Father Ahai commands us to honor this holy day, um, feast day, high holy feast day, as a Sabbath, and also a memorial of blowing of trumpets and a holy convocation where, where we should do no work. And we may think, what is this a memorial of, of blowing of the trumpets? So if we jump over to Exodus chapter 19, verses 16 through 20, we see when Moses went to the top of Mount Sinai, and it came to pass on the third day in the morning that there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud upon the mount, and the voice of the trumpet exceeding loud, so that all the people that was in the camp trembled. And Moses brought forth the people out of the camp to meet with God, Father Ahia, and they stood at the nether part of the mount. And Mount Sinai was altogether on smoke, because Ahia descended upon it in fire, and the smoke thereof ascended as the smoke of a furnace, and the whole mount quaked greatly. And when the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder, Moses spake, and Father Ahia answered him by a voice. And then Father Ahia came down upon Mount Sinai on the top of the mount, and Father Ahia called Moses up to the top of the mount, and Moses went up. So we can see when, Moses, when Father Ahia called Moses to the top of Mount Sinai, Father Ahia come down, well, we could see in verse 19, the voice of the trumpet sounded long and waxed louder and louder as Father Ahia descended down and, and the whole mountain was on smoke and he descended in fire and then everyone could hear the voice of the trumpet sounding, sounding long. So this altogether is a foreshadowing of Holy Yeshua's return, Yeshua HaMashiach, or Jesus Christ of Nazareth, his return, which makes the Feast of Trumpets very, very prophetic. And I guess for those who do not know, I'll just share quickly, Holy Yeshua fulfilled the Spring Feast when, when he came 
to earth the first time and Passover he died for us he was our perfect Passover lamb um, unleavened bread he he had no sin he lived without sin also he was bruised and, and beaten for our transgressions and and pierced and that suffered many stripes, you know, by his stripes we were healed, and that's represented by the matzo bread being striped and pierced. And also Pentecost, Shavuot, Holy Shai sent the Holy Spirit, the Rock of Kadesh, to, to the apostles, to the disciples, and, and to the world. So he fulfilled the spring feast, and then and then the fall feast is very prophetic um, of Holy Shai's return. Father High is very precise with his appointed times, and as he commands us to follow them, is a preparation for the return of Holy Yeshua. So we can see in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 to 18, we could see here, for the Lord himself, Holy Yeshua, shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, Father High, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Holy Yeshia in the air, and so shall we ever be with Holy Yeshia. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So we could see, we could see it's a foreshadowing of when Father Ahia come down on Mount Sinai. It's very, very similar to Holy Yeshia returning, returning in the end times to raise the dead in Christ first. And, of course, that, that could be literal, but it's also for those of us in the body of Christ who have died to ourselves, have crucified our flesh, and have done the internal work. And that's that's um, that makes this whole time so special, the month of Elul we just shared every, um, every day, blowing up the shofar to really um, a call to repentance, to press in, and to... Just repent and do deep rep, um, reflection and introspection. It's all pointing to this time. I'm not saying that today is the day, but could be. So we have to we have to always be prepared. We want to always be prepared and, and really be pressing and repenting. And it's very very special time now with the the ten days of all to really really press in even more and get prepared for the day of atonement, which is, is re, um, referred to as the holiest day of the year, where we, everyone must um, really do deep affliction of their soul. So it's very, very important time. And I guess uh, I'll just share sometimes also that the trumpet shofar is, is sounded in, um, in Scripture. As, as we know, it's a call to repentance, a call to return to Father High and follow His ways. And it's also... The shofar, the trumpets, also used to sound the battle cry. It's also used to announce the king, and, and you know we're we're awaiting the return of of Holy Yeshia, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So it's it's very very prophetic, and it's also connected to victory. Um, and we, and we know we have the victory in Holy Yeshia, just believing in him and, and what he what he done for us because he came and and you know was victorious when he died on the cross to save us all. So, okay, I just I just leave it at that and I'm just going to sound the shofar and I just give all the glory to Father Ahaya, Yeshai HaMashiach, his beloved son and the Ruach HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit. Amen.